Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to Next Gen PGA Tour 2K21 gameplay live here on the channel. Today we are competing in the Strike It Lucky event in Early 1981's World of Golf Society at Lost Wages Casino Wild Hawk Downs. I've got no information regarding this course, it was one of the society admins that did uh, select this course. So let's go and check out the course settings. We are swinging from the longest tee set to sort of gold and pin set number two. Wind is medium and south and the conditions are firm and fast. This course, believe it or not, actually has five tee boxes and five pin sets. I've never known any other course to have five pin sets, but I've got no information about this course, but I'm sure it's certainly going to be a good one. Coming into this round cold, into this event cold, I've not even been in the practice range. Um, we are playing on pro settings, more difficult side of pro settings. So looking forward to this one. I have changed out my outfit as well. Going for a more casual look today. So let's see how this goes. So even getting the top 10 in uh, my society, early 1981's World of Golf Society, you're probably going to have to shoot convincingly under double figures. So we've got 12 mile per hour wind, very tight fairway here. So setting us down the right hand side and hopefully that wind does bring us back round into the fairway. It's a grey fast. I'm not sure if we're actually going to hold the left hand side of this fairway with the, the firm fast conditions. I think we've just about held it. So we've got 111 yards to the pin. With that wind, it should hold us up and also take us from right to left. So just plying a good bit of backspin here. The greens are firm and fast. And that wind should do the rest for us. We do get the perfect. It's a good strike. I don't think that wind's holding us up much, you know. It turned us beautifully, but didn't seem to hold us up as much as I expected. We've actually went 23 feet past the pin. It is downhill. Green speeds are slick at 178. It's going to be a fair amount of movement in this from left to right. I'll tell you what, it's on a good line. Oh, it's a great putt, and it does drop with a little bounce off the flag stick. And we do pick up an opening birdie on the first hole. The winds can sometimes be so different, guys. Sometimes in the medium um, lockout for the, the wind speed, I've had six mile per hour winds to seven. And then in times like this, you've got double figure winds. So it's just your luck on the day. Hole number two is a par five. Oh, 13 mile per hour wind in our face here. Left hand side option is certainly easier, but the right hand side option will leave us a better line of sight into the green. That wind will really hold us up. There's a far better swing. That should comfortably find the fairway, but we are going to have a long second shot into this green. I'm not even sure if we will make it or not with that wind in our face. So 286 yards we've driven that, 284 up 16 feet, 13 mile per hour wind in our face. I'm just going to try and chase this driver as far down the fairway as possible. It's another really good swing. I don't think that's going to have the legs to get up onto the dance floor, but it's certainly going to leave us with nothing more than a splash or a pitch. So 29 yards left. We should have... A gap wedge, which is playing 26. Just going to deal off this a touch and see if we can get this running up towards the the hole. Tiny slope. But the yardage was good, and that should be a, a tap-in birdie from four feet. Not a lot of movement in this one, just outside the right-hand side of the hole. And it does turn beautifully back in. So good start to the round. Back-to-back birdies. I have just a second set this up, guys. I'm so, so busy at the moment. I do apologize that um, any free time I do have, if I'm not playing and recording, I'm doing my own thing, my own hobbies. So I'm not playing this game anywhere near as much as I would like. But this is a long par three with that wind in our face. Just going to de-loft this free hybrid and apply full backspin. And hopefully we can land this. Close to the pin. Oh, there's a grey fast. That's probably going to be bunker bound. So despite me being on the, the pro settings, guys, my swing timing seems really, really off. Like I said, I didn't enter into the, the training ground, the practice facility beforehand, which I maybe should have. 
But that should check up nicely. It's going to be a difficult putt from five feet out. This is just for the par save. Very difficult greens here. But that does turn beautifully in, and that is a good up and down, and we do walk away with the par. But I'll certainly have the, the early lead in the clubhouse. There'll be no one else playing this as of yet. Just set it up ten minutes ago. And we do move on to the fourth hole. This time the wind is with us. I'm just going to try and carry as far down this left-hand side of the fairway as possible. Taking over the top of the tree in the rough with the wind behind us. Oh, it's another grey fast. And with that, we do take a, a line over to the left-hand side. But fortunately, the wind straightened us out. And we've got 111 yards, up 9 feet. But with that wind behind us, we can comfortably come back to the sandwich. Just going to deal off it. We should generate a good bit of backspin here. Naturally with this club. Oh, we do get the perfect. That needs to get down, though. That is going to kick long on these firm um, settings. Probably looking about an 18-foot putt here. 14 feet. But the greens do have a, a considerable challenge on them here. This one's slightly downhill. Certainly got the weight. Putt line's good. That needs to turn more, and it does turn. And that is a really good putt. And we do move to three under par through four holes. And the Strike It Lucky Society event here on early 1981's World of Golf. We are on PC, Xbox, and obviously PlayStation. Hole number five. A relatively short par four here, but with that wind and the tight landing zone, I'm going to have to try and turn this against the wind and try and hold the centre of the fairway here. Tough tee shot, actually. Played it well. Hope we've applied enough turn. Looks like we have. And that is going to be prime location for going to attack this fifth green. So 104 yards from the pin. Certainly not going to be pitching this. We should have a club made for this. The Sam Wedge, 98 yards. Just going to apply a good bit of backspin here. I like that wind to move us from left to right. And with the firm conditions and slope at our feet. This should be a pin seeker. We do get the perfect horrible swing line though. But that is tracking well. Should sit down very quickly. It does and that is going to give us a good look. For another birdie. On the fifth hole. Straightforward putt here, just a little bit of movement. Just going left edge of the cup. What on earth happened there? That ball moved left at my feet. I can't understand that one at all. So we've basically been robbed there. I just went slightly over the edge of the cup. I'd have to watch that one back because I could be mistaken. But we take it on the chin. That could well come back to haunt me there. That should have been a, a gimme birdie to be honest. But we are going to remain at three under par. Hole number six. I'm just going to have to take a good bit off of this. So fully deal off in the driver. It's another grey fast. I am executing a lot of fasts here. But we do comfortably find the fairway. So 96 yards left to the pin. We've got a 10 mile per hour wind in our favour here. So coming down to the lob wedge. Just going to apply a little bit of backspin here and let the wind do the rest. That wind should really carry us all the way to the pin. There's another tiny fast and an absolute horrible swing like. I'm quite surprised that's came up as short as what it has. So a 14 foot putt. Fortunately there's not a lot of break in this green here at all. But this certainly is a game, guys, that you need to be playing regularly to uh, maintain your form and consistency. But we do pick up the birdie. We're four under. We should be five under. And we move on to hole number seven. This is going to be a long par three. Down 23 feet. This three would should just be about perfect. Aiming this right to the green, a line of wind. But there's another fast. It's going to be a common theme, I do believe. I think the way the green runs off, this is actually going to miss left. 
It does. We are going to have a, a chip from just off the fairway. Ten yards out. Can fully attack this one with a little bit of backspin just to make sure it does check up. Good execution. It should turn. Has it got the legs? Oh, I didn't need the backspin because that would have been right into the heart of the cup otherwise. But we'll take the par. But really struggling to, to get perfects off the, the tee box, especially just now. But that just proves how easy the, the pro settings are, guys. I'm not swinging particularly well. And we are four under through seven holes. And this is another long, narrow par five. It's a really cool course, actually. The designer clearly knows his way around the, the design and features. That grey fast there, fortunately on pro settings, isn't going to punish us so much. On master difficulty, I would be all over the place here. But that's another reason I don't really want to play on pro settings all the time. I think it's a a great addition for the, the society events. But nine times out of ten, you're, you're shooting comfortably into double figures. So it was another slight fast there. I did expect that to run up onto the dance floor. Just in between clubs there. Driver would have been far too long. So try to splash this one close. Just deal off to it a little bit for extra run out. Yardage was really, really good. Another few inches to the left and that could have gone in for the eagle. But we'll take the birdie. And with that we move to five under par. So solid front nine. Especially in these uh, fairly high winds. And as we tee off on this Hole number nine. Four, I'm just going to take a practice swing off of, off of this tee box here. There is another fast. I just cannot seem to execute a perfect off the tee box. Oh, early. What is going on here? One more for luck. There we go. So hopefully we can execute this one. I don't think we'll drive the... The green here, but cool waterfall there. Very tight landing here. It's going to try and find that tiny little fairway in between all the hazards here. Really need to execute the perfect here or we could well be in trouble. Certainly a risk-reward course. We do get the perfect. And it looks like we've got a great line coming into this fairway here. Very, land, uh, very narrow landing strip there. That's a horrible kick. Very punishing kick there. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But it is going to leave us a splash shot out of the bunker. Cactus or cacti to the right of us. Just want to get this landing short and let it release forward, hopefully. It should run out towards the pin. Very good execution there. And that should ensure a kick in birdie. Which we do convert. And that is going to be a solid six under front nine. Should have been seven under. And we do move on to the back part of this course it's been a while since I've actually had the time to upload a society event guys we have been playing some fantastic courses and a huge shout out to all the members who do continue to play on all platforms so once again just turning this from left to right using the wind to help us out here and we are starting to hit perfects now off the, the tee box and that should be nothing more than a a lob wedge or maybe even a pitch. It is going to be a pitch. We're 68 yards out. Slightly elevated green. Full backspin here. 11 mile per hour wind should move us left. So aiming right at the, the pin. And hopefully we can execute this well. We have done. That should sit down and hopefully spin with the amount of spin we did apply. It does. And we are going to have a, a simple putt from 5 feet. And the birdie run does continue here. Great start to the back nine. And we do move to seven under par. But a huge shout out to everyone who continues to watch and support my channel, guys. I do really, really appreciate it. I'm fully aware that most of the casual viewers and subscribers who were enjoying the game for a while have left. And I think everyone's seeing a decline in views. But the society is still going strong. Still getting lots of plays on all platforms. So I do fully thank you all for that hopefully you do continue to enjoy the courses that myself and the fantastic society admins do select for your um, play and pleasure that's not worth the risk i'm just going to try and lay up here with the three wood still a tough shot to take on 
driver just was not worth the risk. Tiny fast, but just try to cut the corner here. Hopefully we can still find the fairway. It does kick out of the rough. And it's going to be another pitch or maybe even a flop shot from that range. This really is a risk-reward course. Loving the layout. Such a fun course to play. So we're going to go with a flop. Should land a little bit short. And hopefully it does check up with the backspin. Oh, it's a grey fast. That will not be anywhere near the hole now. That's went long and left. And we are left with a fairly tough downhill putt from 13 feet. This one is going to move quite a lot as soon as it leaves the face of the putter here. Should start to turn now. Come on, get in. Oh, it's a fantastic putt. And we do fortunately pick up the birdie there after that poor flop shot. And with that, we move to eight under par. But such an enjoyable round, and I must admit, really enjoying the the pro settings. Still difficult pro settings, mind you. But we are on another drivable par four. It's going to loft us above the tree, and hopefully that wind does help us get there with some extra hang time. Oh, it's another grey fast. That is leaking left now. It may kick right. Even if we hit the green. I think with the conditions, it would have been long. So not the worst outcomes here. But this is going to be a tricky chip shot here. Out of the heavy rough. Not the best of lies. I'm going to have to go with the gap wedge. Full backspin. I would rather be past the pin than short of the pin. Put it that way. If we can't put it in the hole. Should be an easier putt. That needs to check up. Great execution. Maybe just a little bit too aggressive with that. We do have a six foot putt. For another birdie, it would take us to nine under par, which we do convert. So despite me not playing or swinging very well, um, we do find ourselves nine under and double figure wins and quite a tough course. So it just shows you the gulf between the pro settings and the master settings. I do think that the, the gulf is too big. The jump from pro to master is too punishing in my opinion. Really in between clubs here. I can't recall changing my clubs out to this set up here. Huge gaps here. So we're going to have to try and lose a little bit of yardage. Just going to turn us against the wind. Go with the drop. Try and get it perfect. And hopefully the wind holds us up and moves us to the right. Oh, it's a fast. We're still going to be long. There is a backstop here, but I don't know if we're going to find it. It may come back a little bit. No. I think if we got another few yards of distance there. We would have reached the top of that slope and it may have worked its way back. But certainly a makeable putt from 30 feet out. Downhill. We can be quite brave with this one. That's on a good line. And it drops right into the heart of the cup. We have executed some decent putts here today. Does make a change. And we do move to 10 under par. With quite a few holes to play. So like I say, certainly the first man out in the course, it looks like we may post a, a, di a difficult score to beat. Certainly a challenging one to beat. But the society is littered with so many fantastic players. It's a joy to be competing against these guys. But hole number 14. There's a far better drive. But really like this course, guys. Love the environment. Clearly the step theme. I imagine it's meant to be somewhere out in Nevada where all the casinos are in Las Vegas. So once again, just going to turn this against the wind. Just going to apply a little bit of deal off first. Nine iron. See if we can get this turning. Land it front of the green. And with the firm conditions, get a good kick up there. It's a really good execution. This should really kick well up onto the dance floor. Go on, keep going. That is a fantastic golf shot, guys. Really, really happy with the outcome there. We've left ourselves a very makeable putt from 10 feet out. This would put us to 11 under. Drops comfortably into the cup. We do move to 11 under par with four holes to play. It really is refreshing to be playing the pro difficulty settings, guys. But like I say, I would become bored and, and I think it would be a bit um, too
too easy if I was playing this regularly. And that is why I do like the challenge of the, the master difficulty settings for the showcasing courses on the channel. But we've got five iron here. Really in between clubs, but probably just execute a slight fast here. Allow the wind to take us round. There is that slight fast. That wasn't intentional. It's just the way I'm swinging, guys. I didn't intentionally play for the fast. Go on, get in the hole. Could be a hole in one. Oh, wow. I think it would have been too pacey anyway. But it just breezed past the edge of the cup there. And we do have a 21 foot putt. Very difficult putt here. This is really going to swing hard from right to left. It was a good effort. Didn't allow enough for the break. But we are going to have a tap in part. And with that, we do remain at 11 part. With three holes to play. Two par fours and a par five. This is such a fun course, it offers a fair challenge, especially in these double figure wins. And we move on to hole number 16. It's going to be a long par 4, very tight fairways here, especially with that wind in our face. It's a tiny fast, I just I cannot seem to get a rhythm going today at all. I've probably had as many fasts as I've had perfects. So 185 yards, down 17 feet, 12 mile per hour wind in our face. I'm just going to fully loft up this free hybrid. Wind should comfortably hold us up with the height we're throwing this up there. Oh, it's a good strike. Wind doesn't seem to be holding that up at all. Oh, wow, I cannot believe that. I applied full loft to that hybrid just to hang it up and allow the wind to, to do even more damage. And we still went past the, the pin and off the green by 12 yards. Let's see if we can chip this one in. It's going to deal off the, the sand wedge here. Not a lot of movement in it. Fairly good execution. It's got the line, hasn't got the legs. It does have the legs, and that is a fantastic chip in. And with that, we do chip in for another birdie, and we move to 12 under par. So solid round here. I certainly wouldn't be uh, scoring as favourable as this, swinging like this on master difficulty settings. It's the only time of the, the week that I do play in the pro settings, and I must admit, it is very enjoyable. But I do prefer the challenge of the master difficulty. So look at this for a par 5. Wow. Very tight fairway to the left. I think we may be obscured with an approach shot here. But going to try and set this down the right-hand side. There is a perfect. I think that may kick right. And this tree line could well become a problem. I'm not sure we're going to be able to reach this green in two unless we've got a gap between the trees. Do you know what? I think if we deal off the driver here, try and find the gap, keep it below the trees, it may kick up onto the green for us. Need to get a perfect here. Wind should help us out here as well. Oh, it's brilliant execution. I tell you what, this deserves to be good. What a golf shot this could be, ladies and gentlemen. This could be in for an albatross. Go on, get in. I've not had an albatross yet. I think it's just going to come up a little bit short, but hopefully we can convert this for an eagle putt. Guys, if you haven't already done so, please hit the like button because that was an absolute worldie of a golf shot. We do drop that in for the eagle. And with that, we move to 14 under par. I wonder if that missed putt for the birdie from four or five feet which should have went, in my opinion, um, is going to come back to haunt us. Let's see if we can finish with a birdie on the 18th. Oh, wow, I don't think we can make that. I think at best it's bunker bound, and the way the, the splash shots are us now, I'm just going to lay up and hopefully leave a wedge into the green. So free hybrid off the tee. Ah, really wanted to take that on, but I just don't think I would make it. With that double figure wins. If it was nine mile per hour, I would probably have really went for it. Hopefully I'm not going to live to regret this. But I think we should be getting this close. 112 yards. Pitch and wedge. Full backspin. Should be perfect. Wind is going to move us slightly from left to right as well as hold us up. So just aiming left to the green. It's a great strike. Oh, that wind's caught a hold of that. Yardage is going to be perfect too. Yardage was beautiful. Just moved a lot more to the right than I allowed for. 
But it's certainly a makeable pot from 13 feet. This would put us to 15 under par. Certainly be a challenging score to beat. And give us the, the early lead in the clubhouse. So what a fantastic round of golf, guys. I really enjoyed that. Really good course. But that is going to be it for today's video. We do shoot a 57-15 under par on a fantastic and fun course. But that is it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like if you are new to the channel. Hit the subscribe button and good luck to everyone who has taken part in the society event. Take care, peace out and love you all. Bye.